Hey guys, Brian delivers you the goods here. Sorry about the background noise. That's my nephew screaming mostly. Um, I'm returning to you for a album review finally. Another album review. I think this is the last one that came out for this past Friday's releases for May 5th. So this is for Ed Sheeran's new album Subtract, the deluxe edition I'm reviewing because I heard the whole thing. Pretty much all 18 songs. So I'm going to discuss what I listened to for this new Ed Sheeran album that is an, about over an hour long and let you know my thoughts on his new album, Subtract. So let's dive into this album review. Now it starts with the first song, Boat, and it sounds pretty nice with how he's singing it, but the melody is pretty mellow and it tends to be good and well, it's just a good track in its own way is what I'm mostly trying to say. So 4.5 out of 5 for the first song. Good opener to the album. Good opening song to start the album, pretty much. Saltwater is the next one, and that's pretty solid. Um, not really hating how Ed Sheeran's singing it. It's just there's some moments where I like it and moments where I feel unsure what to think of it. But 4.5 out of 5. Then comes the first single we got, which was Eyes Closed. And I don't think I like this one too much, but I think it's decent. There are some good moments when the chorus comes in, but the verses kind of lack because Ed Sheeran does his weird falsetto vocals that just don't connect with me, in my opinion. It just makes me kind of uh, feel distant from how those vocals are making me feel. Just doesn't connect it's kind of cringy in my opinion so four out of five for eyes closed life goes on is the next song and that's a solid track it's good in its own way i think how he's singing it sounds fine so 4.5 out of 5 then comes dusty and that one just has a melody that i'm just not connecting with and i think it's an average track but it just the pop beat and how he says flick a finger and other things, lyrics like that, it just does not connect execution-wise too much. But the song performed averagely, so 3.5 out of 5. Then comes End of Youth, and that's a decent song. It just has some weak verses, but the chorus is memorable, and some of the pre-chorus is fine with how it leads into the chorus. It sounds alright, so 4 out of 5. Colorblind is a pretty solid track. It's not too bad with how it's sounding, and melody-wise it's good, and how Ed Sheeran is singing it, it sounds pretty nice, so 4.5 out of 5. Curtain is an average song as well, it's another one of my least favorites, I'm not really synchronizing with this track, meaning I'm not feeling for this track too much, because of the way Ed Sheeran's comes in the opening verse it just doesn't connect or execute too well in my opinion so 3.5 out of 5 but the chorus kind of brought the rating up a little bit borderline is a decent song it just has some a solid melody but it's just the way ed sheeran sings it sometimes that kind of throws me off a bit and not in a very good way but in a kind of decent way so 4 out of 5 Spark is a decent song. It's not terrible, just kind of sluggish with the melody. And mostly the vocals are pretty solid. But melody-wise, it just mm, doesn't do much for me. Four out of five. Vega is a solid track, in my opinion. Almost a decent by accident. I think this one was solid with how it sounded overall. Melody-wise, acoustic-wise, and how Ed Sheeran is singing it. I'm not really hating this one that much. I think it's a good track. It's one of the good tracks on this album. So 4.5 4 out of 5. Sycamore um, is the next song. S-Y-C-A-M-O-R-E is a solid track too in my opinion. I think it did alright for what it went for. So 4.5 out of 5. No Strings is another solid track. I like how it's sounding overall. With Ed Sheeran's vocals and the melody, it's doing very well to entertain me. So 4.5 out of 5. 
Then comes the final track for the regular edition, The Hills of Aberfeldy, Feldy, I meant to say. Um, this one is another solid one with how it sounds overall. So I'm really digging this one. Uh, the final track for the regular edition is pretty solid, in my opinion. So 4.5 out of 5. Wildflowers has an interesting pop beat, but the vocals do very well, and Ed Sheeran shines pretty well in this track with how he's singing the track vocally. So 4.5 out of 5. Stoned is another solid song. It has good piano work, and the lyrics are pretty re slightly repetitive, but does all right in its own way with how it's he's singing it, Ed Sheeran. So 4.5 out of 5. Toughest is just about Ed Sheeran feeling like he's down in the dumps mostly because of, he mentions a lyric in there saying, uh, found out I had, word travels fast that I, someone had cancer or something like that. I guess his lover had cancer and a baby's on the way. And I'm like, wow, interesting way to start a song, I guess. <laughs> Like, kind of sad, honestly, if you think about it. It's bad news, then good news. <laughs> so it's like, what the fuck kind of news? <laughs> Pretty much a uh, 4.5 out of 5, in my opinion, for Toughest. It's solid for what it went for. Then comes Moving, and that one was just uh, another miss, in my opinion. I think vocally, it just kind of doesn't do well with Ed Sheeran singing it at times. His falsetto kind of ruins the track, in my opinion. Um, but the track performed averagely, acoustically, melody-wise, it's alright. So, 3.5 out of 5. Overall, production, mixing, and execution-wise, I think Ed Sheeran's new album, Subtract, for this deluxe edition, I think it's decent. It's not the best work he's done. It's a little weaker than the last album, Equals. But I think this one is probably going to be on my decent to good albums, but it's just not that memorable for me to come back to for this album. I think there's some good tracks and solid ones, but the weaker ones are the average ones that kind of bring the rating down, in my opinion. So, for an overall score for me, I'm giving Subtract by Ed Sheeran for this deluxe edition I reviewed. I'm giving it a 7 out of 10. It's decent, just not something I'm going to come back to and mem remember as the year goes on. So 7 out of 10 for Ed Sheeran, subtract for this deluxe edition and album review. Thanks for watching, guys.